You ready? Here we go. Getting out of help desk in less than five minutes. You have things at your job that you don't like and things that you really do like. Some things really aggravate you and other things are actually kind of pleasant. Figure that out. You need to write down exactly what you like about your job and exactly what you don't like, okay? Once that's in a list, you need to examine on the, the like side of things. What are those things? How can you do them in your spare time? What do I mean by that? So if you really enjoy the networking problems that come up, you need to get a networking book. Uh, study for the Net Plus by CompTIA. Um, look up tutorials on, on some kind of networking setup. Uh, learn more about IP addresses, subnets, VLANs, etc. Different protocols of communication. Look them up, study them, and then build them. Okay, you're going to look up VMs, you're going to look up how to start a, a free trial on one of the cloud providers and, and make a virtual network there. You're going to dive in and build something after you learn just a little, little bit about whatever that thing is you enjoy. Okay, learning about it is going to be helpful. Sure, I can read networking books all day and that's great. But until you actually dive in and try to build a network from the ground up, you try to make computer one, talk to computer two, you're, you're not going to absorb the knowledge as well as you would just uh, uh, doing it. You're going to learn better than reading it. Okay. And you need to dive in and, and just break stuff. And that's going to teach you a lot. As you learn more, I like sticking with networking. Just go with me on this. Um, so at first you wrote that pros and cons list networking was on your i really like it and you dove in and you're trying to figure out how to get these virtual machines to talk awesome and now you're going to make another pros and cons list okay what in in what you're studying what do you enjoy what do you like building what do you not like doing is it a complete turn off you're you're basically following the the crumbs of curiosity Okay, you want a general understanding of all these things. You need to add these skills to your tool set to get out of help desk. Absolutely. But you can't grind for the next 30 years on something that is, is frankly just killing you inside. You, you got to follow the interest. Okay. For instance, uh, it, was, it was very difficult for me to learn networking because... Yeah, I saw it as a necessary evil. I was like, oh yeah, subnets are cool, okay, cider blocks, blah, 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 VLANs. Right. But then I got hands-on experience. I had to build a network from the ground up. And that was awesome. <laughs> and then we have that on-premises network, and we have a cloud network, and I got to figure out how to bridge them, okay? <laughs> what is the thing that bridges them? It's a VPN. It's an IPSEC tunnel in this case. Um, what even is that? Go figure that out. How would you build it? Would it work through the cloud provider? Do you have to learn how to use a cloud provider to do that? Can you do it with third-party tools? Can you build it from scratch? Probably. Sounds like reinventing the wheel. Sounds horrible. But see, just like that, I, I'm not attracted to networking, but I find it really cool. Because if you had those two networks on-prem and in the cloud, and you connected them, you essentially turn two places into one place. It's like having two separate roads, right? And you build a road that connects them. That's really cool. Am I a network engineer? No, but I have those skills in my, in my tool belt and I can use them when I need them. I don't have everything memorized. I don't understand it completely, but I know enough to get by. I know enough to be useful. And that leads to the next thing that I'm interested in because I use networking to enhance and enable the other things that I build. So in, in building out that network, now what is actually communicating on those networks, right? You, you might have a container running some program, you need it to communicate with another program external to those networks. Well, now you have to understand ports and port forwarding and, and ingress models and uh, basic trafficking understandings, right? Still on networking. But to get to that point, you also had to understand containers and whatever program's running. And uh, you're, you're going to find little things that you just want to dive into more. You just want to understand it more. And as you build them, you'll understand how they work. As you build them, you'll break them. And your skills will improve. 
<laughs> you're you're going to spend the first hour setting up your your home lab environment and it's going to be very frustrating because you just want to code the next facebook uh, but for some reason you can't open up a, a text editor yeah that didn't happen to me don't worry uh, I'm a complete expert in all these things. Um, <laughs> so essentially what I'm telling you is follow your curiosity, dive into it, start with, start with reading, start with tutorials and actually apply what you're learning, build it out. If you, if you can't think of how to build it, literally look up networking project, insert curiosity project, search button. I, I promise you there's something out there that will hold your hand and walk you through it. And as you add those skills to your resume, now you can apply to those other jobs. Boom, you're out of help desk. I, I promise it's that easy. It really, really is that easy. One final note. Um, you, need to, you need to expand your search, okay? So once you have the skills and you understand what you're doing, just understand you don't have to be a master you just you just have to add some skills and understand what you're doing okay say you're you're in data analysis right and you're you're having trouble finding a job or getting hired you go through some interviews and you just don't get picked up by the company it happens switch your job search to analyst not data analyst just analyst okay will you end up in the career field that you want to end up in maybe not maybe not you might end up Hired as a systems analyst. That's very different from a data analyst, right? But that systems analyst job could have a lot of skills overlap with what you want to get to. So you're going to dive in and you're also going to be working with SQL in that role. Sometimes. It really depends on the job posting. But data analysis and SQL are best friends. And experience is experience. So you're going to dive in, maybe the job will be less soul sucking than help desk, but I guarantee you'll get new experience and that new experience will help you up upgrade even further. So once you're in that job working past help desk, there's a job too. Now you write another pros and cons list. What do you like? What do you dislike? Follow the crumbs of curiosity. Do the same thing again. It's, it's not complicated. <laughs> And it, it sounds so much easier than it actually is because setting aside 20 minutes a day to actually work on it, that's the hard part. And uh, you're definitely going to want more than 20 minutes a day. So it's not easy. Sometimes it's not fun, but it's definitely worth it. And you just have to figure out what you like because then you'll keep going at it. So good luck. Don't give up. Yeah, <laughs> you can do this. <laughs>